one more video for you. This is the prototype Neo Geo CD top loader. Um, it's definitely a prototype. The motherboard on it is completely different revision than any of the other ones. It has a uh, early BIOS, but you know you, I can't tell any differences so far. Uh, I can show you what happens when you boot it. You can see the I put viewpoint inside of it. Comes up with a different version and it actually says it on the screen. Um, this is the only time you see anything different. You know, maybe it should have auto-booted. That makes sense. So maybe this is part of the difference, is that it doesn't auto-boot the game. Um, I can't open it anymore. The main problem is, if you look closely, some of the, the standoff screw holes have cracked. And this, when I first got it, I opened it took a bunch of pictures. And uh, when I was closing it again, I noticed all the cracks were there. So I'm not, I haven't touched it, I'm not opening it again. But what we're going to do after I show this video is I'm going to dump the uh, BIOS from it. So let me just show you, just regular, I mean it just plays like a regular Neo CD. Can't see shit. You can see some writing on the board underneath it. Let's say number 12. Same thing, there's writing on multiple parts of the board. Um, on the back, it has a SNK sticker number six. Maybe that means there's five more, I don't know. And I think I just moved the power cable. Oh well. But if you saw the other video, um, I was showing how to load stuff from uh, the computer to USB through the USB to the PC to Neo board. Um, that guy right there, and I'll be doing that soon on this one once it's done loading. Maybe I should fast forward this. Yeah, regular Neo CD, just some early prototype. So now I'm going to stop this and reload the uh, USB to Neo. One sec. Okay, I added uh, the special boot disk they made me. And uh, we're going to load it. So start. And it's done. So now I have the BIOS, and I guess we'll figure out what to do with it here soon.